Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So yes, yeah, so today in this video, uh, with this back sea main boiler, uh, the water's getting too hot. So um, that's when the heating's on, the water's getting too hot and the temperature's not uh, reducing on this uh, thermostat reducer. So your central heating one's there and this one's your hot, your hot water one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna change over um, the hot water sensor, so thermostatic sensor. And this is the backseat genuine part, and it comes with a, uh, a fiber washer. And all we need to do is that that socket there, it's 13 mil. So we'll, we'll use a socket of 13 mil. And then let me just show you on the inside where it is, how, how easy it is to change. So remember, you've got to isolate the power from the, the mains fuse switch for the boiler. And then uh, turn, the best thing to do is turn off all these valves, your, your cold water going in and, and then your flow return. So just turn everything off and then it's probably good practice to turn your mains water off as well. So all, all that's all done. Make sure all your electrics are off as well. And then just open your taps as well, just to make sure the water drains out. So you see that uh, plug here? So that's the sensor is here. So you've got the two pin, uh, obviously to, for the electrical wire. And so in order to take that out, you just take that little red clip, put it to the side, and then pull it at the same time. So the clip there, and that's it, can you see it? It just pulls out. So obviously there's no power coming to this because all the mains is off. So that is the two pin. And then that's the part we're going to replace here. Can you see that part there? That red there, so that's the sensor going into the hot water. Um, you know, so the call for heat, so and um, so when the hot water going to the rest of the house, condensed pipe, so this will measure the, the temperature of the, the hot water. So we're going to replace that. It's a 13 mil socket. So all we need to do is uh, use one of these. So you know, the same socket um, that you use for changing your taps. Um, Remixes so that will fit in here like so, and then you turn it anti clockwise and open the nut. Okay, so open it slightly, and then you'll start hearing uh, bleeding slightly with the air, so that will let some more water out and at, at, at the taps. So, so let it bleed properly, let all the water come out in your taps. So, for, for instance, this one here, can you see it's coming out slightly? So I've kept, I've, I've kept my um, hot water and uh, cold open and it will bleed it slightly as well. So it's just laying all the water out of the system. Same with upstairs uh, bathroom, you know, or any other bathroom downstairs, whatever you've got in house. Just keep, just drain all the cold water, hot water first before you open this. So that's clockwise and that's anti-clockwise to loosen the nut. And just make sure you've got a bowl underneath. So if anything does come out, it will capture it in that bowl. Okay, so it's got a little gap there. You've got a little gap. So when we do open it, if any water comes out, uh, it will go down into that hole and uh, we'll capture it. Okay, that's it. So let's start opening it now. A bit more. There you go. So the sensor is now open. There it is, can you see it? So that's the old one. See, so what, what happened with the old one is, can you see the lime scale build up on here? So if, if you got lime scale, scale on your uh, sensor, it's not gonna give you the correct readings and that's the reason why I wear those issues. Yeah, okay, so it's the vaccine genuine part. Uh, I got this from City Plumbing and that's the part number. Uh, it's 5114725. And um, it's about, it's about, you can get it online for about four pound, and then City Plumbing is only for about twelve. But then you want to make sure it's genuine backsy parts, and, that, and that's what I've done here. Got the correct one, okay. And that's a new one. So just so make sure you put the fiber washer back in, like so.
Okay, and then put that back in the, into the hole. It's a bit fiddly with a one handed. <laughs> I can even try again. Get your spanner. And obviously don't go crazy tightening it because yeah, it's got the washer there. But um, just give it, you know, just once it's tight, just give it a slight turn. We're not over tightening it, yeah? So that's it. Okay. So now that's tightened, uh, so you put the connection back in. So you see this, the pin here? So one side of the pin, that goes uh, the opposite way of the, the long lug. So you'll know, you'll see the clip in there. So if I, if I show you on here. There you go, you see it clips in? So you'd, you'd hear that click. And that's it, then you cover it. That's it, all done, brilliant. Okay guys, and then just put everything back together, your cover, and then your, your water back on, your uh, cold water main come to the property, and then put your mains, um, wire, um, switch mains back onto the boiler, and you're ready to go. Okay, so I've opened all the uh, valves, so your flow return, and then your cold water, just turn that back on. So that's closed, and that's that's open. Okay, and then uh, check for leaks. You know, just put you put your finger around the nut, making sure uh, there's no leaks. Yeah, it's all good. Turn the power back on, and then let's, let's see how it goes. Okay. Leave it at 40, I'll leave it around about 40 I do. Okay. Right, there you go. Okay, so the gas turns off now. So the hot water is running. But it's not heating uh, over too much, so it only kicks in when it needs to. So the flow is accurate now. Before, that temperature was going 50 to 60 and uh, it, the boiler wasn't picking up that it's hot water so the, so the thermostat now uh, is giving it the right reading okay guys hope you enjoyed that video and uh, thanks for watching and seeing the next one bye